Hello guys, uh, my name is Juma. Welcome to Laravel 7 Beginner Tutorials. And in this tutorial, we'll just be looking at a basic setup. And maybe it's important for me to mention that Laravel is a PHP framework that is built on MVC uh, pattern that is model, view, and controller. So probably as we continue, you have a better understanding of why we are calling it model, view, controller. Now, uh, the first thing I would like us to do is to just do the very basic setup. And of course, for you to be able to follow these tutorials, uh, you would require to know object-oriented programming, just some basics of it, and uh, no other prior uh, knowledge is required. Now, um, the first thing that you'd require to do is to have a basic setup of your system. In this case, I'm using Windows, so I will require a server. I will also require to install Composer and Git. Uh, once I have uh, these three uh, things, then I can be able to install my uh, Laravel project. So that is what I would like to show you how you can be able to achieve that. So the first thing we will go to, we will search ZAMP in Google, just like that. That is a server that I usually use. But of course, there are various other servers. You can also use. Um, a server called WAMP. You can also use Laragon, among others. You, we also have AM, AWMPS, so depending with whatever you like. But me, I prefer using this one. So you come to ZAMP, and in this case, the the website is apachefriends.org. And here, we have various versions of ZAMP. I would like to, to in, uh, download the latest version, that is... Um, the, the one that has PHP 7.4.3 and ZAMP you come with MySQL and it also come with um, Apache which you be the server that you'll be using in our local machine and th that will be like uh, the basics of whatever it is that you're required to have so w once you download this it's an executable file so I already have it installed in my machine so I do not read really need to download it but once you download it it's an executable file you just double click on it and run as simple as that you'll be able to have installed and once it is installed this is the folder where you find it so you go to the the, the disk with with which your windows uh, is installed then when you go to that disk you find that there is a folder called zamp and then when you open it you have so many other things here which Maybe you can take time and know what it what they are. It's not of my interest, but of interest is this folder called htdocs. This is where we will be putting our project, our Laravel project. Now, the next thing that you need to do is to install a dependency that we call Composer. So this one, you also Google search Composer. And then uh, uh, download, click on download there. Then again, for Windows, you also have Composer Setup.exe, so in other words, an executable file. So you download this one also, and once you download it, you it's also an executable file that you'll be able to install um, just by uh, double-clicking and uh, following until it is fully installed. So you must install this the, the ZAMP first, or the WAMP, or whatever it is that you're using as your server, and then afterwards you can go again and install Composer. After installing Composer there is also uh, another package that I usually find it important and uh, you will also find it important for you to ensure that you install it. It is called Git. Uh, Git. And Git will assist you. It has um, a CLI and com command line interface that can assist you to just work with your project and also it's very helpful when now you want to upload your projects to github now uh, so also git you click on that and uh, go down here and download that latest version that will be useful for us now after downloading git again we will install it 
and as I have mentioned so here you come and choose the version in this case my machine is 64-bit uh, so you choose 64-bit once it is downloaded again it's an executable file that you install by just clicking double clicking on it and clicking next until we fully install so that is uh, the basics of um, installing the, the the previous things that you require to do now the next thing that I would like us to do even as we end this short tutorial is um, to install ZAMP now if you want to install I mean, I mean to install now the Laravel project because we have already installed ZAMP sorry for that now uh, if you want to install a, a, a new Laravel project in this case we are doing a tutorial for Laravel 7 so you go to laravel.com laravel.com and then click on documentation and the first thing that we have here is how to install laravel so in this case we have installation we have requirements that the server needs to have but once you have installed a uh, zamp you do not need to worry about uh, all those things so then um, we can uh, install laravel by using this command here globally so composer global require laravel installer and this one is very good in in that the next time now you'll be doing the installation then you will uh, not require to write many things you just be doing laravel new so we copy this one and then we will go to to the disk where windows is, is installed in this case then we will go to the folder called zamp and then we will go to this folder called htdocs I just want to right click because I have git installed I will have this uh, request whereby we can git bash here the first thing you do is uh, to paste this one here composer require global uh, composer global require laravel uh, forward slash installer and this one we will hit enter it will take a while for it to install so i will pause the video momentarily after the installation is done the next thing we need to do now is just to go ahead and uh, install a new project so here we will come and say uh, just laravel uh, new I believe so let us go to documentations again and check yes Laravel new so in this case and then followed by the name of our project so you say Laravel new what should we call our project we can say beginner that can be a good name and then hit enter it will take a while for it to install this project and so I will pause the video and come back when it, the installation is completely done. Welcome back. Our project is fully installed. Uh, and uh, the next thing that I would like us to do is uh, we move into the project. So um, I'll just close this one and. Uh, maybe show you where the project is exactly so you go inside htdocs in other words you can also cd into that folder and then the folder that i'm looking for or the pr folder that has our project is this one that is called beginner so i can uh, git bash inside there and maybe just to check the version of laravel that we have installed we can say php uh, tsun dash dash version as you can see we have installed laravel 7.40 so that is uh, our project that we'll be working on so uh, that is all for this tutorial in our next tutorial we'll be looking at something else interesting and you'll be working with this folder here thank you very much for um, watching this tutorial and you can also subscribe and hit the notification bell and also you can like this video and comment if uh, 
at all there is any issue that you'd like clarified or maybe something that you'd like also to contribute thank you very much and goodbye